Hey you guys, it's Kendrick from Providence Tarot. I just recorded in a video, but someone called me. So now I am just re-recording. I did not reshuffle the cards. I left them right where they were. I only picked up two cards and explained them, so we really are still at the beginning of the reading. I wanted to let you all know that Dale will be at Om Shanti Shanti today, and that is on 230 East 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. He will be there from 11 to 5 p.m. tonight. I will be there tomorrow night, Saturday, September 15th from 5 to 9 p.m. And I believe that there will be a book signing there on Sunday, the 16th of September at 1 p.m. I also may be there reading on that day as well, but don't quote me on that. So, let's talk about the special that we're doing this week. Since I'm announcing it now, I believe it's going to go through next Friday. The special is 30 minutes for $40 with one reader. Yes, you can email me at ProvidenceTarotKendrick at gmail.com to have a reading with me. If you'd like a reading with Dale, email him at ProvidenceTarotDale at gmail.com. And you can also email both of us at ProvidenceTarot at gmail.com if you would like a reading with both of us and we will respond with a welcome and a list of our prices. Also, everyone, I'm doing the best I can with the audio. I'm trying to make sure that I'm loud enough, but my dog is here and I can't, you know, stop her from being a dog. So if you hear her making any noises, then that's just her. Oh gosh, she always gets like this. She wants to play. So let's talk about the reading, yes? Let's go into the bottom of the deck. You've got the Five of Pentacles. This is Mercury and Taurus. So you're really thinking about some of the, um, some of the material, the material gains in your life, material losses. You might be dealing with a physical injury that is really causing you to like go to this place in your head. Because, you know, when we feel sort of, um, uh, destabilized, <clears throat> in a sense, because it goes from the four of pentacles to the five, when we feel a little bit destabilized or <clears throat> not really firm in a foundation of how we're able to support ourselves, whether that be physically or monetarily, yes, um, then we start going into these places of not feeling good enough, right? Or we start going into these places of not knowing if there is any way out of this feeling or this thought process that has come into a materialization, right? This is also saying that your thoughts have power. When you think something and when you speak it, Mercury, you are <clears throat> putting it into the atmosphere for it to be materialized into something, if you can think of it in that way. I'm probably being able, I, I, I probably use better wordage but you know what I'm saying when you start thinking something then you start making it true for yourself right so the thing with the five of pentacles is saying that you've got to be able to take the good with the bad the ebb and the flow things are gonna go well at some moments and things are not gonna go so well at some moments that's just you know the nature of things you're being challenged and it's like you've got to see your way through the challenges right because how would you know that you would be able to get any stronger or any better right so now in order for you to do that we're all kind of thinking about how we are centering ourselves, how we're finding solitude, how we're finding that calm that we need at the end of the day. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you actually taking care of your mental state, right? Are you doing those things that you need to do to sort of recalibrate your mind and make yourself feel less affected by everything around you yes what kind of atmosphere are you creating for yourself that makes you feel very steady and at ease yes those are some of the things that you want to think about with the star card it's also saying in terms of you really succeeding you've got to get to a place of um uh, of, 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 of calmness. You've got to get to a place of feeling very um, <clears throat> resolute in your mind and in your thought press. And when I thought process, when why did I say press? Hmm, maybe you might be feeling pressed by something or pressed by getting through 
the process of something. Maybe you feel pressure, and this is actually going to help you relieve some of that pressure. You know, you could sit with a candle and stare at it. You can listen to some really high tones, high frequencies. You can even do a guided meditation. You know, the internet is there for you to use. Use it as a resource, okay? When you start thinking that you don't have resources, you know, that's when you start getting in your own way. So some of you guys are really thinking about, you know, things that have been obstacles for you or getting in your own way. Maybe you've been taking out of your comfort zone or you're being um, stricken with the thought of being taken out of your comfort zone. But maybe this place actually wasn't comfortable for you. That's why this is the goal. We're trying to get to a place where we are creating our our day-to-day -day, right what's constant in our life what is fixed this is Aquarius so it's it's saying that you can love people from afar it's saying that you can be involved in a process from afar if you need to be involved it's saying that you can take care of others by taking care of yourself first really you know and that's something that Aries can teach us as well I don't know why I thought of that but you know the star card rebalance those chakras get everything realigned you know it's going to take some some work in your mental process and you know some effort there but it's got to come from a place of needing right and 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 wanting and and then you'll be able to capture that that essence that you wish to uh, attain yeah cuz this is um this is attainment in your in your communications with yourself, right? How is your environment affecting you? And how are you being effective in your environment in terms of how you're able to let yourself be guided by the flow of things? Because Aquarius is really talking about going with the flow of things. But, you know, going with the flow of things in a, in a very intelligent, resourceful, steady, practical too, practical mind, you know, it's also saying that, uh, you know, you can think of things um, in a different way, you might even be met with some surprises, you know, Uranus rules Aquarius, and so does Saturn, Saturn is the ancient ruler of Aquarius, so, you know, there are some lessons to be learned when you really go back to self, you start thinking about things you might even you know run through some nostalgia it's very important to focus on you at times you need that in the Sun it's saying that you have definitely be, been thinking about the people that you've been involved with socially yes because this is Libra the justice card it's talking about being fair it's talking about being harmonious it's talking about you know feeling balanced also, it is love because Venus is love. Right now, Venus is actually in Scorpio. And Scorpio is adjacent to um, Libra in the, the Zodiac wheel, if you want to think of that. But this is really seeking the truth in a situation, right? Because this is another air card. So you've opened up the reading with an airy planet and an earthy sign. And then you've also opened up with an airy planet, the most mature airy planet, and then the second airy planet, which is Libra, the Justice card. How are you able to maintain healthy relationships with people and a healthy relationship with yourself as well? That's always the challenge, right? Because normally, in the traditional image of the Five of Pentacles, you have two people in a picture, and it seems as though they, they're their conditions are sort of getting in the way of them having the realization that they can help each other in a situation, yes? And Libra definitely talks about that. It's saying, get out there and have those uh, those conversations with people that might be resources for you. Maybe those conversations are resources themselves because then you'll be able to have like these moments of realization and then you know where you need to make your move next or where you need to go or what the next step needs to be. It's like once you find out the information, okay, let me weigh this. This is what this means. Now I can, you know, move forward and focus on something that, you know, 
I want out of this, which, you know, Scorpio is the next sign after Libra, and that's talking about what they desire and what they control. When you know more information, then you have more control over, you know, how it affects you, or if it affects you, or, you know, how you let it influence you, right? So this is also talking about having a positive influence on others when you learn how to influence yourself positively. Ugh. Okay. Now you got the three of wands. This is saying that you're really... Once you start doing that, you're going to be able to see how it's coming back to you. You're going to be able to start to see how things are taking shape. Your actions are going to be are going to start making sense. You'll be able to do more. You'll be able to, you know, bring more activity in towards you. It's a really great thing when you get the three of wands because it's saying that you also almost have reasons to celebrate. Yes, plans are taking shape. Things are moving in the right direction. You just have to wait for the 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 the, the comeback, right? The return on something. And it's really wonderful because you'll be able to really see it for what it is. In the past, you were dealing with something that you felt bound to, right? Something that you felt was codependent or maybe you were codependent upon. This is Capricorn. So in the past, you were probably thinking about your, um, your work situation and what you were able to... Um, to build for yourself. You started building something in the past. A lot of us have. Maybe some of us left jobs in order to build something else, you know, a new place. Maybe some of us left a job to go to a new job. Uh, or maybe some of you were so worried about getting a job and then in the past, and now you have a job, you know. Uh, that's talking about finding the harmony within the everyday um, hustle right and if that hustle is um not a positive one if it's on a lower polarity then you need to think about changing that right and for you to change that it's going to take some real uh heavy lifting and some um you know earth shifting movements to get that to change right it's going to be a hard thing to change it's a habit this is a this is a habit right that needs to probably be broken. And it might be a habit in the way that you talk to yourself or the way that you see yourself achieving certain things or certain goals that you have because this is a goal-oriented card. Um, let's look at your your center, what's going on right now in the present for you. In the present, you have the Father of Cups. This is fixed water. Scorpio, But and I just said something about Scorpio too, but then it's also talking about... Um, you know, Pisces energy or cancer energy. So are you being receptive? How are you being receptive? And, you know, you don't want to be so receptive that you're taking on all of the things that make you feel something. And because then you're going to have to repress some things because everything's not going to really be, you know, what you think it is. This is just saying get a handle on your emotions, right? And when you start seeking balance in your everyday life and trying to get those moments out of the day every day as much as you can to get some kind of meditation, whether it's cooking, reading a book, whether it's stretching, whether it's dancing, whether it's working out, whether it's writing, whether it's painting, drawing, sewing, all of those things can bring you to a nice mental state of calm. And then you're, you're going to be open to inspiration, more inspiration, right? And that's what we all need. This is the day of temperance. You want to be guided by, you know, um, a deep, deep spiritual knowing that you have inside. So let's look at the immediate influence that's covering you. Wow, you have the Mother of Wands covering that. So this is talking about business. This is talking about the ability to create something. This is you identifying with the fact that you are able to achieve things that you've always wanted, things that are going to bring you some emotional fulfillment, things that are making you feel emotionally abundant. You're in a place of maturity in this emotional abundance because you know what it's taken to get here, yes? Now let's look at your outcome and the energy moving forward. You have another Scorpio card, and it is the sun in Scorpio, so that's great. It's saying that you're going through a transformative energy right now. The sixes are talking about harmony, and this is harmony in your emotions. You're feeling the 
nostalgic. You're thinking about things that you wanted to achieve in the past that you now feel like you have the opportunity to achieve. This is really wonderful. Sixes are talking about moving on to a better understanding of, of, of how you can provide for yourself, right? Because Scorpio's motto is, I desire. Um, you know, what you desire, you can have, especially if you're willing to work for it and you're willing to allow yourself to see that you can have it. Stop thinking that you cannot have it all because you can. Guys, email me at Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com.